Good morning, afternoon or evening, ladies and gentlemen, all in crypto here and welcome back guys for another jam-packed daily cryptocurrency market update. Before I begin, I'm wishing everybody a happy Chinese New Year and if you are new to this channel and finding yourself on my videos for the first time today, don't forget to check out that subscribe button because we try and bring you an update every single day at 1pm UK time, just like this one to help you guys stay up to date with the latest and greatest things happening in the crypto space, but also the broader markets and our plan is coming to fruition. We are going to be looking at that. Yesterday was a very technical dive into the cryptocurrency markets, but also the broader markets. And we're going to be very much extending on that as the short term plan that we had in play for Bitcoin is playing out. Now, there are some things like Bitcoin dominance that isn't following the plan exactly as expected. But the limelight right now, ladies and gentlemen, really is on Bitcoin, certainly with all the ETF news. And actually, there is an impending short squeeze to the tune of $1.8 billion that is likely to occur if Bitcoin reaches $50,000. And that is going to coincide perfectly with the neckline of our broader inverse head and shoulders pattern getting taken with momentum and volume, thus confirming the pattern and ultimately potentially taking Bitcoin all the way towards 150K, which is spot on in regards to our broader thesis of the markets, looking at the macroeconomic environment, looking at rates where they're at, and looking at things across the board on their own technical merit, and sort of compounding and compiling this picture of what we think the markets are going to do. And we'd be very right on that thus far. So strap yourselves in, guys. Let's dive in and let's start things off with the charts. And this is the broader plan that we have in play for Bitcoin. And we were speculating based on not just the Bitcoin chart on a weekly time frame in this candle that you had here, but also Bitcoin against other markets, like for example, the stock market for uh, another stock market. So the NASDAQ, so, so this is the S&P, this is the NASDAQ, Bitcoin against the S&P, Bitcoin against the NASDAQ, and of course, Bitcoin against gold. And you can see that actually, a plan is very much playing out. And remember, this broader target, this broader pattern, it's kind of a, a macro pattern of the micro pattern that we had here that led us all the way up to uh, 42,000, is essentially going to see us running towards 150,000. And we are on the cusp of breaking out and actually confirming and fulfilling this pattern. Remember, this is a pattern, and those of you that have followed me for long enough, you'll know just how much success we've had in this. We've largely outperformed the markets as a result of I would call myself a classical technical analyzer. If you drop down the timeframes, this dotted line is the target that we had from our head and shoulders, the smaller one that we showed you, and, and it's sort of leading up to the macro one. You can see this actually also doubled up as a neckline for a small head and shoulders pattern. That's target was... 45,600, and you can see actually Bitcoin ran into a little bit of resistance here. It was the first little bit of resistance it ran into. Sort of pulled back somewhat, but now is continuing um, and actually is getting closer and closer to fulfilling this right shoulder and thus the broader pattern that we have in play. Bitcoin dominance is not playing out as we expect to do. We did expect a role in Bitcoin dominance to occur at the same point of the shoulder. We do think Bitcoin dominance is now in a broader downtrend and this is invalidation. Obviously, if we run these highs, then we need to rethink that. But the correlation between Bitcoin dominance and crypto, the bull market and Bitcoin doing well is actually that Bitcoin dominance goes down in a flourishing bull market. And we are on the cusp of that, although not initially. You can see as Bitcoin started to sort of bottom and, 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 and climb here, or the total market cap of the cryptocurrency space, it wasn't until later on that actually the Bitcoin dominance chart started to roll. And I think we're very near that point today, uh, and we ultimately do expect Bitcoin dominance to roll. See the altcoins do a lot better. I did have a question from one of my patrons that I thought was an amazing one, and that's the beautiful thing about having a community like we do. Um, you know, we've got like-minded individuals all working towards the same goal and all uh, looking at the markets from perhaps different points of view and different altcoins and everything in between. But Bitcoin dominance being a little bit stubbornly high. Um, we'll take a look at others' dominance before we move on to other things. You can see others' dominance is something else that we're tracking. We're going to get rid of this. And you can see we are still waiting for this to find some support. We were actually also looking at Bitcoin's right shoulder potentially being in based on a lot of crypto stocks, which is what we did yesterday. Again, looking at Coinbase, look at where it's bounced and found its support. 
exactly as predicted. And that right shoulder may well be in. So we'll see how today shapes up. Some of our altcoins are doing very, very well. Um, and I do think talking about the short squeeze that we just mentioned and potentially seeing Bitcoin's neckline being taken with momentum, which is what you want to see. You want to see volume. Um, I'll show you that on the smaller head and shoulders pattern before we dive into this. You can see this kind of candle may be about to repeat. Um, and if we add volume onto the chart, you always want to see volume on a break of a, of, of a triggering event in regards to a pattern because it gives a degree of confidence. And I think that volume could potentially come in the form of a short squeeze. This is from Ash Crypto, who I think is one of the Wall Street's bet guys. Breaking 1.1 billion dollars worth of shorts will get liquidated if Bitcoin hits 50,000. And you can see this, of course, is what he's showing in regards to that. The amount of shorts that are actually built up. And ultimately, Bitcoin is getting very close to uh, the, the 50,000 mark. Um, that I do think actually potentially by the end of this week or certainly by the end of this month it could take, that could be the very catalyst to see a repeat of what happened over here. Um, you know, you want to see momentum on these breaks and I think you could be very close to it. Gold on its own merit actually looks to be doing quite well. If you drop right down the timeframes, you can see that this potentially is wanting to sort itself out. Maybe the one hourly is a little bit too far down the timeframes. You can see this may lead to a continuation pattern all around a key level. Remember, Bitcoin's in an uptrend against gold. We still have the stock market and a number of other things to do well. The dollar being a little bit persistently strong. The dollar did meet our target or was just fell short of. I'll have to redraw this that we had for the dollar. That's typically not great for Bitcoin, but what this does now, hopefully this rolls, aligns with our broader macro thesis on the dollar, which ultimately supports the thesis that we have for Bitcoin. You know, you could be about to see a real momentous move for uh, the crypto space, certainly Bitcoin, certainly if we do run into those um, shorts and they do get squeezed and have to become forced buyers at market, that could confirm this pattern. It's a very reliable pattern. We've shown you plenty of examples of this. If we also look at Marathon was another one that we were looking at in regards to looking at the bottom for crypto. You can see the sort of um, state of play here. I must have removed, okay, the drawers are there. Break with momentum, come back for a retest. And you can see this is now off. So if Marathon's going to do well, Coinbase is going to do well, and we've got higher targets for them, that's like the reflection of the broader crypto space. We're just waiting for dominance to roll over for our sort of alt season. But everything is largely following the roadmap that we've set out for it. So very, very excited. A little bit of other news to sort of report on over here. Justin BlackRock's Chief Investment Officer of Global Fixed Income on Bitcoin. As you get more and more people that adopt it, as an asset, we think the upside potential is real. And this is it. So we have seen this support or resistance level. Hopefully it flips into support once we take it. All concur around the time of the ETF actually being officially announced. Macro headwinds coming in, dollar strength. And now there's a kind of reversion of that. Perhaps not from the dollar strength point of view, but there's a kind of bulk of grayscale selling being done. You know, we know the kind of uh, individual variants that are involved in that. And we're ultimately looking for, um, you know, the broader trend, which is very clearly an uptrend, to now continue. Um, and this is just a short rest. We did say this was a lot shallower. We did kind of clown all those YouTubers out there that were calling for 20. I mean, you still have people that are bearish on the markets after being 180 degrees wrong for the past couple of years. Um, there's There does come a point where I think you do need to start changing your tune and i'm sure you guys can think of some of them off the top of your head so not that much to report really other than what's currently taking place um the total market cap again this was a stage one breakout this is now an uptrend we teach stage analysis in the in the patreon which essentially breaks down the market into four stages and tells you what to do in each of them stage one's your base stage two's your uptrend this is now an uptrend not just for um, the total market cap, but but obviously for the cryptocurrencies that are a part of it. You know, Solana was something that I was a bit gutted about missing out on. We were looking to long it about uh, $18, $19. When it got to 17 I had to capitulate, only to miss the entire move. But there's lots of things that we have in play that are all playing out. So I guess that is really all I have for you guys. It was just a short and sweet one. You know, watch out for the short squeeze that may occur. Stick to the plan have a technical reason to be positioned in the markets, not just a news-driven one um, or a feeling-driven one. Stick with that. The technical, the charts are your footprints in the sands in regards to making it 
in the markets. If you understand technical analysis, you will, in my opinion, outperform the people who purely focus on fundamentals uh, and nothing else. All I've got for you guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope to see you all in the next one. Stay tuned for this evening's video. And that's it from me. See you in the next one.